Mike fam. So today I'm going to be showing you guys where I used to live, my old school, the shops we used to go to, all that kind of good stuff. So sit back, relax and enjoy this video. So at our first stop guys, over there as you can see, that's our first compound that has now been built on by buildings and that, but that's where we first lived over there. Obviously it's gone now, so I can't show you the exact house. And there is where we used to play tennis. It's a school, so we used to go there quite a lot to do our tennis and that. So um, this is our first stop. Let's get to the next one. So this is a song that my dad used to play all the time. Every day dad? on the way to school, we used to sing along to this. Every day on the way to school, this is a song. So sit back and listen to it, guys. So this was on the radio here all the time. And it reminded you... And it still reminds me of driving you around when we first got here and all the stuff that we used to do. But none of this was here at all. So there was the compound of the school, then there was this big open field with this big TV aerial. Yeah. And then until you got back to here, Wasson Road, there was like maybe one row of houses down here. So we used to drive to school and at that time they were just uh, doing the middle of this road. And I used to make you count all the palm trees every day. Oh yeah, I remember that. How many more there were. Yeah, yeah. I his house and he had like leopards and things in his garden. Oh yeah. Is that there on the corner? That's their house. So you went there because his son was in your school. You went for a party there or something. He said, that they got a tiger or something. They might well have. It's possible. So it's in there somewhere. Pups. I'm barking and robbing Sam. Yeah. See that, this hasn't changed. No, no, this is all the this same. This really is a, absolutely the same. So I'll park here and we'll get out and we'll walk through and walk to the end. So now we've just got to our second location, which is Park and Shop. This is a shop that we always used to come to because our favourite sweets are in there, which I'll show you because I'm going to grab a few to take back to the UK. But I haven't been there for probably over 10 years now. Sophie has been there recently because she came at Christmas and she got me some of um, these sweets and bought back for me. But this is all, this hasn't changed at all. This is all the same. So I'm getting quite excited for this. So let's get inside, show you around, and get these sweets. Yeah, it hasn't changed in there at all, has it? And those fruits. So these are the sweets that we always used to get when we were younger. So I bought some back for me recently, so I'm definitely going to take some back with me to the UK because these are gorgeous. So say so stocked up. <laughs> I'm stocked up as well. Take these back to the UK because these sweets are nice. <laughs> So just before we leave Park and Shop, my favourite section of this was of course the toys because I loved my toys when I was younger, didn't I dad? Yeah. This is, I always wanted to come in there and get a toy, so this has not changed at all either. So. What about Pokemon cards? Oh yeah, Pokemon cards down there, I used to want them all the time. This cabinet's still here, that's been Some there. Some things have changed because now they don't have a music section. Oh uh, yeah. Because music online. Yeah, so that's Park and Shop guys, let's go to the next location. It's this one. It's this one. Yes, look. Because this yeah, sand yeah, lot was it. always there. What's good, guys? We're at location three now, and this is my old school. Let's go check it out. So, for you guys that don't know, this used to be the primary school called JPS, Jamira Primary School, and this is where I used to go when I was younger. Now it's turned into someone's villa, into someone's house, so it's not actually a school no more, so someone actually lives in there. But everything around here, with the sand over there, the whole plain sand, that's all still there, exactly the same. But that is my old school, same gates, I remember it like it was yesterday. So now I'm going to show you guys next school that we moved on to. Again, it's JPS, Jamira Primary School, but it was a lot bigger. That was like a temporary school, and we moved to the big one. Let's go. So we're at our fourth location now. 
the second JPS, which is Jamira Primary School. This is where we came from the villa that I just showed you, because this was being built and we were at school in the little villa and then they moved us to the bigger school. So this is basically the same school, but the second building, if that makes sense. So let's move on. So we're just pulling up at our fifth spot. Fifth spot has got to be the Jumeirah Beach Hotel. This is where we used to come to play tennis as well as go to the gym quite a lot and swimming. So basically all the sports sort of stuff. My dad used to come here quite a lot as well. But this is a huge hotel and pretty dope inside. I'm not going to go inside and show you guys. I'm just going to show you the red Lambo over there. Nice. That's our fifth stop. Let's go on to the next one. So that's the wild waddy that we used to go and swim out all the time. The water park linked to the Jumeirah Beach. Burj Al Arab there, the big sail yeah. building. So what's good guys, we're at our last location now, location six. And as you can see behind me, this is the actual house me and my sister used to live in with our parents before we moved back to England. So this is our second house. Obviously someone's living there now, but there's a lot of memories in here and obviously a lot of Halloween trick-or-treating. There's a gate right down there, I don't know if you guys can see it, but basically a quick story, my sister got in a tantrum, she went off with the maid and the dog that we had and um, as she went around the corner, a big Great Dane straight from the other corner and like scared the hell out of her, she was crying her eyes out, all that sort of stuff, so, and I was laughing my dog because we would argue. But yeah, that is our house, so that's real awesome, it's so dope experience, everything the same around this estate apart from new buildings up there and that same swimming pool, all that. Cool, I'll see you guys when I get back. So as I guys said to you the other day, I'm going to be driving all three of these now. The Jaguar, the R8 and the Range Rover. We'll start off with the Range Rover first.
What's good guys? So first of all, I hope you guys enjoyed this whole series that I did while I was out in Dubai. Like I said, this was my first series of doing vlogs daily. It was hard, putting in the work for the editing, getting all the bits of clips in, so it was a lot of work. But I'd appreciate you guys if you commented down below on any of the vlog videos saying that you'd like to see more of daily vlogs. This was just like a tester for while I was out here to see what it would be like. I mean, I got some good footage while I was out here, but the only thing that really annoyed me was I couldn't fly my drone. I especially got that to fly out here. That has made me really annoyed. Basically, you've got to have a license over here. You've got to have taken a course to fly, and then you've got restricted zones. So basically, you couldn't fly anywhere, which really annoyed me so if you guys are watching this one now and you haven't watched any of the others as this is the last vlog please go back and watch one to eight the only reason I did eight is because I didn't realize that there was not that much to do because I did say in my other vlogs I'll be doing nine to twelve if you guys were expecting more I apologize but I mean I've got eight daily vlogs out of it so I appreciate the support I just want to give a huge thank you to my dad and Savita for having us taking us out for meals driving us around letting us drive the cars as you saw at the end of this video and just everything else in general so thank you also shout out to my sister for always helping me get my parts of vlogs in because she did come up with a few ideas so thank you Sophie and give her a follow on Instagram here oh and by the way she's single if any of you guys like her hit her up <laughs> I also want to thank Jordan store for having me and Mr Mark Arm for taking his time out to chat to me show me around the store all that sort of stuff and I hope you enjoy the London 10s I also picked up the history of flight 13s so that review will be coming very soon so stay tuned on my channel. But overall, just hope you guys enjoyed everything that I did while I, was, while I was out here. It's been a great experience. I haven't been back here for a good few years. So a lot has changed in Dubai, a lot. But the heat hasn't, and I hate the heat. So I'll say my last farewell to you guys, because this is the end of the vlog. I'm back to the UK today. Can't wait to get back to see my fiance. I've been missing her a lot, and I can't wait to see my mum as well. So the King of VI series is done. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you haven't and if you haven't watched all the vlogs go back please and watch every single one up to now i'll see you guys in my next video until then i'm the king of ai peace